Hello everyone, Tina here. I hope your day is going wonderful. Happy March 1st. Three months into the year. It just seems like yesterday. It was a brand new year. But today I get to share with you the brand new Spellbinders card kit of the month for March. It's called Have a Springy Day. I haven't looked at it, so I'm super excited. We get to kind of look at it together. <laughs> I love that. We're going to um, go over everything that's in the kit this month and then um following this video i'll be creating 10 cards with it so just click on that link at the end of the video and it will take you right to the 10 card video let's take a look i love spring i, I don't know about you guys it just makes me happy because of all the the colors um Right now, as I'm filming this video, we have snow on the ground, but I am so looking forward to spring. I, I'm looking forward to um, taking walks. That's what I totally miss is making, uh, taking walks. But, oh, I can already tell I'm gonna love this. Okay. Well, I love all the kits, but spring ones are just extra special. This is your content sheet. Right over here, it tells you everything that's in the kit. So double check it, make sure everything's there. And then you get three inspirational projects um, created with the kit contents, which is really nice. And then one of these are probably using the die. Yes, um, using the die set this month. It tells you how to create with it. Usually I follow this when I um, put together my pieces, but this die is so cute, guys. Look at you can create a little lamb, which is adorable, or you can create a little bunny face. So I'm looking forward to this. Um, so there's an extra little uh, recipe for card making on the reverse side of your content sheet. I always like to go over the card stock because it kind of sets the color palette or the theme of the kit. And you get a double-sided sheet of gold mirror card stock. Spellbinders actually sells this in, a, um, I believe, a 10-pack or a 12-pack. I can actually check for you real fast. And 10 sheets. So if you love this, you can get this separately here. Okay, and you get a black sheet. All of these card stocks are great for card bases, um, and they're eight and a half inches by 11. But you get um, black, a white, a darker blue, maybe a sky blue. You get a green, almost like a Kelly green. Then you get a ooh, really bright, bold yellow. And then you get a nice purple, lavender, a light pink, and a dark pink. Love the light pink. That's probably what I use. So you get one, two, three, four, eight sheets in total, plus your specialty, which is the gold mirror. You always get your 10 card bases and 10 envelopes. These are A2. Um, they usually have a V flap on the envelope really pretty um, and then your card bases four and a quarter by five and a half inches side folding and they're pre-scored for you which is really nice these are the, the bases that I use to make my 10 cards next we are going to take a look at our six by six paper pad it is have a spring day paper pad is usually named after the kit I'm going to take this out and if you guys have been watching for me for a while, you know I like to just trim off that top and then I'll store my paper pad upside down. Um, that way if I have bits and pieces left over, I can just put it in the plastic. But let's take a quick look real quick. We'll just thumb through it, but to show the color palette. What? We have, oh, two sheets. They're back to back this time. That's different. Usually you have a whole set and the whole set. So we have to go through the, look how pretty that is. That yellow goes perfect with this yellow, but you get some clouds. You get two sheets of that. Love this plaid, gingham almost. Some florals, some little, these are little bows, which are really cute. And you get some vases, you get some dot, dashes. Oh, that's a real pretty floral sheet. 
This is really nice. I love this. This is a real pretty one too. With the, these are leaves, really nice. Two on a tone on tone. Oh, you get some some black checkered. I like that. Some wood grain, and that is it. So you have five, ten, fifteen, twenty sheets, two of each pattern. Now we're going to go ahead and take a look at our stamp set. Oh, how cute. <laughs> I, you know, I've always said this, that I love scripty sentiments with block letters. I just think it stamps really pretty on a card. Um, and I love the sentiments in here. You're really amazing and cute and funny too. <laughs> look at the little lamb. You get some florals. You got a little bow and the heart. And um, that's your stamp set. You also get some puppy stickers. These are um, foam, um, gold glitter. I don't, I'm pretty sure these do not shed. You never have to worry about these shedding. Let me see. No, these are no shed, and they're a lot of fun sentiments. They're full foam backed. Full, when I say that, I mean full foam, um, meaning the entire back is foam so that makes it nice it doesn't smush during transit in the mail but I love the sentiments in here and they are a perfect size for card making so you get a whole package of those you also get some chipboard stickers and these are fun because they coordinate with your cardstock the black's thrown me off but the black is is thrown in there I think spellbinders always think well thinks everything that they do and so when they put the black in there I'm pretty sure it's meant to go um, to die cut out the little images um, with the dyes you need some black for the eyes and I think that's nice that they included that but the chipboard stickers coordinate beautifully with your cardstock and then you get the other side too so if you're wondering what color to color the bunny, you can use kind of this as a guide. I think that's really nice. Or even the lamb. Use that as a little guide. But there's some sentiments in here also, along with some banners. And you get those. And then you get your die cut shapes. Let's go ahead and take a look. And we'll open up our card base. So we have a flat surface. And then I'll zoom in. And then we will go through these. You guys can fast forward if you this is boring to you. But I always like to see because I don't know what's in here. So I kind of like to look at them together. <laughs> and it looks like, oh, we get, I think there's just one of them this time. Nope, we get two. Looks like you get two this time. Maybe that's, I don't know, we'll see. We get florals, beautiful florals. You know what? I'm going to speed up the video while I go through it. And then um, when I'm done going through all the die cut and ephemera, um, we'll, we'll all catch it back, okay? Okay, so that is your lovely Have a Springy Day die cut pack. I'm going to zoom back out. Lots of fun elements in there. A lot of florals and a lot of scene building elements. Now you also get this huge package <laughs> of sequins. Now I love these neutral tones only because it's, it's not quite a yellow, but it's not quite a off white. Maybe it's an off white. I just love the color. There's an air, air doesn't hue to them. But I love neutral tones like that because it goes with everything. Then you always get your foam adhesive, some foam squares. And then you also get a double-sided adhesive roll of um, tape. 
my foam square kind of got a little damaged, but no worries because um, I have lots of that. <laughs> now we're going to take a look at the dies. I'm excited about this. I'm going to scoot everything aside and we're going to take a look at our dies this month. Usually during my unboxing, I like to uh, create with the dies. Um, sometimes they create things like today we're going to create a bunny and a lamb. And so let's go ahead and do that. And I'm going to use some white cardstock. Since the bunny and the lamb is mostly white, I'm going to go ahead and die cut all of my elements out with white cardstock. You even get a sentiment that says hello. Get some flower, a flower. And then these are the bunny and the lamb pieces. And then this is the lamb, um, the little lamb fluff on top of their, um, that goes on top of their head. Or it could be a cloud, which is versatile. I love versatility. And so I'm not going to use the cardstock, um, the colored cardstock. I am going to use the white. So I'm just going to trim this down into quarters and I'll die cut out my elements. Okay, I went ahead and die cut everything out. Now, um, these two pieces and the little face, I, got, I die cut out tw um, the face twice. And then these two pieces I, I did twice on this. No, four times on this. And then four times on this. So we have two for each of the faces. Now we're going to set these aside. And now you could use your colored cardstock definitely, of course, but I think it's just going to be easier for me to do this um, and do a little bit of coloring with some Copic markers. First, we're going to color in the little lamb. We're just going to add a little shading using my C1 marker to the little lamb fluff, we'll call it. <laughs> And I'm also going to go over my hello with C1. It's nice that they always go a sentiment in with your, with your, um, with your dice. Well, not always, but for the most part. And then I have C2. I'm going to add a little bit of a darker shading. This just gives it a little bit of dimension and a seamless transition to that white area. And then for the hello, I don't know if you can tell, but it has a leaf and a branch. I'm gonna go ahead and color that in with my green marker. I'm using G24. And I'm just gonna use one shade and we'll make this easy. And then for the flower, I'm gonna use RV23. And then we'll add a little bit of a flower center with RV25. And then for our bow, I'm using BV01. And again, I'm this is what I call messy coloring because um, you can go outside the lines when you leave it in your cardstock. And I'm going to go ahead and add a little bit of shading with my BV02. Okay, now I have RV10. I hope that, I wonder if this is light enough. Yes. I'm going to use RV10 on these two long pieces. These, this, this came in one set. These three was this one. So I'm going to color all of these pink. And you know what the nice thing is, guys, is um, when you die cut, if you want a pink cardstock, you would just die cut it, take this tie and die cut out the pink cardstock, which makes it really, really nice. Since we die cut out four, we have to color in four. I don't think we need to color in four, but well, it's always nice to have extra, right? <laughs> I may have cut too many of these. We'll see. So those are done. Now, all of our pink elements, punch these out. 
So I put the flower on the back side. I love that they have a little circle on the end of your um, on the end of your leaf because then you add your flower and then you can add your flower center. But there is your sentiment. That is super cute. Now we're gonna work on our bunny, and I'm gonna punch out these little elements. And then what we're gonna do is fill in the back area um, with some cardstock. We're gonna bring in some thin strips of black, four in total. We'll do both faces at once, how about that? And these are gonna go right behind the eyes. This is where your uh, recipe card comes in handy because it kind of tells you what goes where. And we'll add some glue. Then we'll add our black cardstock. I don't think I had to go that long, but it's okay. Once we have our eyes covered, the circles right below the eyes are the cheeks. So I'm going to use my Copic marker and add some color to my cardstock. And then we're going to take one long strip and go over the cheeks and the nose. Probably have to trim this down, we'll see. And if you want the nose a different color, you can do any color you want. I'm gonna just create the same color nose and cheeks with my cardstock here. I have a little overhanging, so I'm gonna use my scissors and trim that off. Just hold it down for a minute. And then I'm going to go ahead and add some foam squares. The foam squares will actually help adhere those pieces. Okay, for the bunny, we have two bunny ears. So the bunny ears, we're going to go ahead and adhere these. Let's go ahead and adhere our long pink piece. Then we'll adhere our shorter pink piece. And then we add our little, we need to add a thin bead of glue over the top. And then you can add your bunny overlapping. Hold it down so it grabs. You don't have much room between these two, but just put a thin bead of glue and then that's the way that looks. Okay, and then I need to use my sand eraser. The wax from my, my gem picker kind of left a little bit of residue. Is that not the cutest little bunny ever? I'm, I want to make this a little girl, so I'm going to bring in my... This is a black jelly roll pen. And I'm gonna go ahead and, since we have, it, well, no, yeah. I'm gonna go ahead and add some lashes. There's already score lines where you go, over, I'm just gonna go over those, those etched lines with my, la my black pen, kind of just intensifying those lashes. <laughs> How cute is that? Oh my goodness. So adorable. Okay, now we're gonna make our little lamb. To make the lamb, I may have cut out way too many of these pieces, but that's okay. <laughs> For our lamb, we're going to create our little lamb ears with these little oval pieces. And then also the smaller oval pieces. Okay, so I, I think ideally, um, you just need to cut out two of these and two of these and then two faces. So you don't have to cut out four. So, so that is a good thing, good to know thing. 
let's trim this off here. I'm going to go ahead and add my pink to my little lamb's ears. And then we can adhere those to our lamb. Let's actually add our lamb fluff first. And I like dimensions, so I want to pop up my fluff on my little lamb. So we have a little dimension there. And then we can tuck those ears underneath here and underneath here. Oh, goodness. <laughs> this would be a cute little baby card, too, guys. A little baby shower card. Oh, gosh. How adorable. I'm going to do the same thing with the lashes. Just use my Jelly Roll pen and go over those etched lines, those cut lines. This way you can really see those lashes. Oh, cute, 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 cute. <laughs> so that's your lamb. You can even put the little bow in your lamb's hair. Oh, okay, that's what we're going to do. <laughs> cute is that? Oh my goodness. <laughs> and I have all these left over too, guys. So I have enough to make another lamb and another bunny, which makes it so nice. So we'll put our markers aside. I'm going to go ahead and top these off with um, some gems. I know we have sequins that come in the kit, but we have so many beautiful colored gems. This is prism. And I'm going to, these are color essential gems, and I'm just going to go ahead and add prism to this bow, so you can see there. And then I will add a pink gem, kind of offsetting, well no, I'm not going to offset it. So the largest gems in your color essential gems will fit that flower center beautifully. So if you don't want to die cut out that flower center or use the flower center you could use a gem and it'll fit there perfectly okay so I'm gonna put these aside we'll probably we, we may just make another bunny who knows I'm gonna keep those and then we'll grab our little recipe card but that is the kit this month adorable I have to say love these I'll be using these probably in my very first card um, with the 10 card. So following this video will be my 10 card again. Um, check that out. Just click on the link behind this video. Have a great day. Thanks for stopping by. Happy March 1st. We'll see you soon guys. Bye-bye.